Thank, Thank you, Sally Ann. It's the top of the hour, and this is the big story of the day. All inspectors run as senator of Pennsylvania. It's coming to an end. Yeah, the fifth term senator lost his re-election bid to Congressman Joe Sestak. And Sestak got 54% of the vote, while Specter received 46%. Sestak will take on Republican Pat Toomey, who was just in our studio a few minutes ago, in the fall, of course. Senator Specter addressed supporters at an election party last night. Let's listen to a little bit of what he had to say. It's uh, uh, been a great privilege uh, to serve the people of Pennsylvania. And it's... It's uh, been a, a great privilege to uh, be in the United States Senate. There's no question it seemed heavy. It was heavy. It was almost like he didn't know which words to say because he's in such an unusual position. You know what? I think he, he kept it short and then he can do an interview later. Once he yeah. has to sleep, think about what he wants to say because it, it was emotional. It was emotional and he's never had to form those words before, mm -hmm. you know, conceding. 1980. Since 1980, he hasn't had to say those words. Quite a night. Yeah, reporters say even the workers around him, you know, the people who have been working for him for months, mm -hmm. everybody was just kind of down. Even hours before the polls closed, yeah. I think they knew. Uh, Steve Keeley is here. Now, uh, during our interview with Pat uh, Toomey, Steve, in the commercial break before you, I said, you, were you surprised by this? He said no. For the last couple of weeks, he thought for sure Joe would win. Hey, he almost beat him. Just 1.7 percent in the Republican primary. And... I'll tell you something. After Arlen Specter was on our show yesterday in the 9 o'clock hour, he was crying after he voted yesterday. Yeah. He had tears coming down his face. I said, are your eyes watering? Are you emotional? He goes, I'm confident. And then Jonathan Carl said, there's emotion, isn't it? And then he was seen wiping tears away again as he got into his car. Kind of maybe, yeah, I, well, I thought maybe he thinks, you know, that's the last time I'm going to vote. Yeah, and yeah. I told you, I asked him, I asked him that last question, and I don't know if it got on our ear, it got on Fox News Channel. I said, there's a lot. Of, this isn't a normal primary election. The last time I was with him, there was like four of us mm -hmm. uh, in the media covering him. I said, look at this army of national That's media. Strong. What do you think that signifies today? And he said, it signifies the nation wants to see me reelected. And I said, mm -hmm. and I wrote this line at 11. I said, it signified to me that there were sharks sensing blood in the water, and they thought this was the end of a long, distinguished political career. And that's exactly what they did sense when you talk to them, and that's what happened. So anyway, we're off the primary election. That is out yeah. over, and now November general election campaign has begun here on the streets of Center City this morning. Everybody recognizing Pat Toomey and Joe Sestak already. And a lot of the voters I talked to say they recognize Sestak not from his commercials, but from all those negative ads that ended up being positive ads. You know, a lot of people thought 31 years in the Navy, that's pretty good. And... They didn't think that he left under any funny circumstances. They just thought that was bad advertising. And then the campaign commercials about him voting no or having a hardworking staff that only makes $4 an hour because they work 100 hours a week. That's what people recognize him for, and they're congratulating him this morning here on the streets as well. So we're going to have a clear-cut campaign now. It's going to be stimulus, bailout, and health care versus less government, less spending, and a lot of minds, less waste. Zero jobs were created in the Bush administration as Congressman Pat Toomey supported Bush's, President Bush's policies and tripled our national debt as he voted to throw out the window what's called pay as you go, balance the government's checkbook. I want to change that. Fiscal conservatism, yes. And also making sure that any tax credits and cuts are focused on small businesses and working families. Joe's not going to be able to run against George Bush. He's going to have to run against Pat Toomey. Joe has supported the entire Pelosi, Obama, Reid agenda. I disagree with it. I want to see us create jobs in the private sector with less government spending, lower taxes, fewer regulatory obstacles. So there's a lot to disagree on. I hope we can do it in a substantive and thoughtful fashion. All right, so you won't see the TV commercials, but look, you already see the bumper stickers, and it is a battle of the bumper stickers here on Market Street. The Toomey bumper sticker, just 10 feet away from the Joe Sestak bumper sticker, and these were undated bumper stickers, not primary election bumper stickers. They're still good for the general election. And look, the latest Rasmussen poll, just taken last week, put Toomey winning versus Specter 50 to 38 percent, but Toomey only winning against Sestak 42 to 40 percent. But Mike Chanel, that poll was just a month after a poll in April that said Sestak 
not only gained on Spectre in the last two polls, but he also gained on Toomey when he yes. wasn't even running against Toomey because the April 12th poll had Toomey ahead 47 to 36 percent. So the race was pulling closer before it was even an official race. Right. So Joe Sestak's energized by that as well. By the way, I'm close to you guys this morning, but that's how it worked out. No, yeah. I can see you out there, Steve. You look great. You look fantastic. I see. Thank you, brother.